Oh, yes, the 
Jesus. Roba ramasse kate ramasira wa. Rika te maluru rosira ni ramasira wa. Muka te ramasira. Thank you. Jesus, I adore. 
Realizing Christ as the wisdom of God. Amen. Realizing God, Christ as the wisdom of God. Amen. Just like a last teaching, picking a verse from 1 Corinthians 1 24. But unto them which are called both, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Amen. Uh, the last teaching we reveal Christ as the power of God. Amen. And on Monday, the second day, I did the same teaching, but it, express it. more uh, I thought we'll get our board today but just come to this well. I mean to explain we explain Christ 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 the word Christ is um is like a domain of power where power is being dispersed. Christ means kingdom. Christ means kingdom. Kingdom. Christ means wisdom. Sorry, Christ means kingdom. Amen. Christ means kingdom of God. Amen. Kingdom of God. Like I said, Christ means kingdom of God. Christ means kingdom of God. And uh, we use Colossians, Colossians 1, 16 to 
explain Christ. Let me just pick one or two things and we'll go into wisdom. The song. People have a lot of people we've done some group chats, stroke, um, We've done some discussions, spiritual discussions, through groups and different platforms. Amen. Um, people have said there is no, God doesn't have a son until Jesus came. But I don't have you with them. Because there's a prophecy about Jesus in Isaiah 9. Isaiah 9, verse 6. He said, Unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. Is a prophetic word that at that time when it was written, Jesus has not come. For Jesus has not been given back. The child, the word Jesus is the child because he was given birth. Praise the Lord. Amen. So he said, Unto us a son, a child is born, and unto us a son is given. A son is given into a child. So I strongly oppose that um, understanding of them. The only thing you have to understand is that God is so awesome and wonderful that He will take you spiritual journey to accurately place Him and place uh, the Son of God. Praise the Lord. Because with that teaching, we saw son, the word, and the life. So the word life is Christ. Life means uh, what life, life is what makes something to function perfectly. Somebody can have, somebody can have, um, can be breathing, but that doesn't mean that it's alive. What I mean by being alive is not, um, is not what most of us understand of being alive, that you sleep, you wake up. No. Being alive is the purpose of your being. We have a general understanding of or expression of being alive. That you can run, you can wake up, you can move around, you are not in the hospital, or you are not um, at home. As you can lift your body, you can lift your hands, you can, you can move around. That is the understanding of being alive to people. But uh, the word being alive can be understood through. When God told Adam that if you eat from this tree, you will die. And he ate and he died. <laughs> he died, but the guy was still walking. He can still move his body. He can still go from one place to another. Even in Genesis 3, 22, the Bible says, and God drove them from the garden. He drove them, but according to God, they were dead. They were not alive. So he drove them. So now, life with means uh, the ability or the strength or the internal capacity for man to fulfill. So in John 1, when you say the Son, in the beginning was the Word. So we understand the beginning as the Son. And inside the Son, 
was the word. And inside the word also was life. So we have the son, we have the word, and we have Christ. We have the son, we have the word, and we have Christ. So now in Christ, what makes Christ to be Christ? Or what makes life to be life? It had the four things. In Colossians 1, 16, he said, dominion. Ah, God bless Pastor Sophie for us. God bless Pastor Sophie for us. So, Thank you. So put it, put it in, put it in the front. Yeah. God bless Pastor Sophie. Uh, I think we have to put it somewhere. Let me see. Can we just? And we can, we, we have a toaster. Mm Hallelujah. God bless Pastor Sophie. Hey. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Revelation, I hope we can see the board properly. In Revelation, uh, I think we did this teaching last week, so let's just this just this is just the summary of what we did. I did it on Tuesday to unveil the hidden secrets, uh, the hidden knowledge of Christ. So through John one one, um, let me see if I can even draw who I'm being today. I don't have it. It's, it's a home.
the dried what can say dried uh, tissue. Please bear with us, we're just trying to do one or two things. We try to use a the one that you can see properly. I'm trying to see if I can draw woman. Yeah, good. I hope we can see that. Do this reflection. So let's see. Praise the Lord. So, um, let's say this is the sun. So, so let's say this is the whole good. So, let's say this is, let's just take this as a sun. So this is the song. This is the image of the invisible God. Colossians 1.15 Amen. And this is the beginning. This is the beginning. That's from uh, Revelation 22 uh, I think 7. This is the beginning. Say, I'm the beginning and the end. So this is the beginning. Amen. This is the Lord. Amen. Because God is uh, before the beginning. And God will still be after the beginning, after the ending. Amen. So Jesus is always the beginning and the end. Amen. Uh, is that a, this present a age or the age to come? Amen. Or this present man is the one to begin this man and to end the man. And it's always the beginning and the end. Jesus, I mean, the son is always the beginning and the end. He will he always is the one to start something and to finish the, best, the thing. Praise the Lord. Amen. So Let's just say this is the song. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, now, this is the beginning. So you now, now say in, in the beginning. Amen. So, uh, in the beginning means that inside the beginning. That's why I put the, uh, this thing, the circle as big so that we can do something inside the circle. Hallelujah. Amen. So, this is Inside the beginning was the world. Praise the Lord. So let's say this is the world. Just bear with me to draw the world as also someone like woman. Let's say inside the beginning was the world. And the world was with God. And we can see that the two of them, they are beside each other, either they are within, one way or the other, they are still uh, uh, in, beside each other, or they are very close to each other. Praise the Lord. Is that beside or close? Mm -hmm. And in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And the word was also God. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And in verse 14 says, in him was life. In the, in the world was life. Now let's not say life. Let's use another. Which one? Which one? Okay. Uh, just here, let me use. I want to use different colors so that the thing can come up properly. So let's see. The second one is the world. Can 
one seven. I have to use the last one also. Okay, let's do this. I can see that we can't see this color properly. So I will use black. So let's see, this is the wall. I think you can see this. This is the word. The beginning was the word. So the first one is the beginning. And now inside the beginning, the word in is inside. Inside the beginning was the word. And that word was with God. The word is small. Let me just say that. Praise the Lord. So, um, so in the beginning, this big one, the blue one is the beginning. The new one that I drew is the world, that is what it was with God, and the world was also God, because what you have inside of you is also God. God means uh, God, carrier of power. Praise the Lord. That's what God means. According to the inspiration of the Almighty. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So you can that's why you can see uh, some people in the world. They are also have gods. Praise the Lord. All those Obantalas, all those Ogum, all those Oya, all those kind of powers. They said they have gods. They are bowing down to their gods because they believe this of this God of theirs can do something for them. They can, can perform something. And you can remember this world. This remember when God wanted to when God sent Moses to the Pharaoh he performed miracles. And the magician also came. They performed the same miracle that Moses performed. Amen. Because they have power somewhere. Amen. They have something they are uh, that, that is the source of their power. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so God, that's why you, the Bible says you have God. You too, you are a carrier of the kingdom. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are the carrier of the kingdom. So anyone who carries kingdom is a, is, is, is a God. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's why you can see, there is also the kingdom of darkness. Praise the Lord. Amen. So there are kingdoms and there are kingdoms. So now, now say, in him, is it true, is it Mm. Through him, all things were made. Let's quickly hope on it. Um. Verse three, he said. Verse, verse three says, "All things were made by him." No, John, John one. I'm not in John one. He said, "In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God." He said, "The same." Was in the beginning with God. The same word. Amen. The same, not another one. Amen. The same word was with, with God. Was with was in the beginning with God. Amen. I say all things were made by this word. Praise the Lord. Amen. So this word is a person. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And all things were made by Him, and without Him, nothing was not anything is what anything is made by that was made. And verse four says, in Him. In this world mm -hmm. was life. So now let's also draw another one. In this world was what? Life. So inside the world, W O R D, was life. Was what? Life. So let's also draw another one called life. Mm -hmm. So let's say this one to have legs as a person. Are different colors. This one is too far. Don't worry. Let me be using this too far. Amen. Think of. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So in in him was life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And Bible now says, and that life was the light of men. Hey, so now, what 
makes it to be alive is to um, is to unveil something hidden. Because if something has to be light of men, uh, it means that that thing is a solution center. It's something that I can go and find a uh, solution to my problems. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, light is a revealer of solutions of God or secrets of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. God make it secret so that somebody can be inside something and that thing can carry that in around. The problem we are having is that we have too much Christians who doesn't reveal Christ. Praise the Lord. I'm not talking about revealing Christ just in preaching or in teaching or just to become a popular man of God. It's not that is not what I'm saying. I'm saying like even an ordinary person in Christ. Praise the Lord. As in what I mean by what I mean by ordinary person. There is no there is nobody that is called just anyhow person. What I mean by ordinary is that even if you don't have color and you don't have titles on your head, praise the Lord. You are as long as you are created in Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are a carrier of power. Amen. So that is what I am trying to say because the way people see the word ordinary, you say ah, it's just it's like somebody doesn't have anything to offer. No, that is not what I'm trying to say. So now the third one I said he knew was he said he said he was life. What is called life? Amen. Praise the Lord. So now, according to Isaiah 9 6, he said, Unto us, a child is born. Now, this child is not part of this four or this three being. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because the child is called Jesus. He's a name. He's a body that was prepared for this son. So, the son, the son must carry two things. Every son must carry two things. You must carry the word. Either you know the word or you don't know the word. Either uh, you spoke in the word of God, but or you, you have not. But you carry the word. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So every son must carry the word. Praise the Lord. And every son, and in that word is the life. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. So every son must carry the word and the life. What makes life is. Those four things in Colossians 1 16 now. For those four things in Colossians 1 16, those are the things that makes you to be alive. Amen. Like I said the other time, when the word alive can be um, gotten or understood true, when God said, Adam, don't eat from the street, if you eat, you will die. Mm -hmm. And when Adam ate, he died, but he was still alive. Praise the Lord. Amen. Means that breathing or moving around doesn't mean that you are alive according to God. Mm -hmm. So there's a spiritual death, there is a physical death, praise the Lord, which we all know. And you can see that uh in Genesis 3:22 that I said the other time, when uh he ate the two of them, their eyes go open, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And God still drove them. So they are still physically alive, they are still energetic energetic, I mean physically, they are still strong, mm -hmm. they still have bones. In their body, praise the Lord. But according to God, they are dead. That's why God took them because it takes someone that is alive in God to stay in the garden. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, this is the beginning. And in the beginning is the word. And in the word is the life. Praise the Lord. So, Christ means life. This third one is what is called Christ. Praise the Lord. So, another name for life, the life of God is Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I believe God decides to give the word that thing, Christ, so that we we'll just say the life, the life, the life way. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. Like me now, I'm, I'm a human being. Hmm? But I still have a name. My name is Israel. <laughs> so you can see another Israel out there. It might not be uh the one that is just created in Christ Jesus. It might be another name 
another Christ. And it can be another Christ that is created in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. But everything must have a name. If you don't have a name, how are you going to point to describe or to define that thing? Hallelujah. So, the third one is Christ, the life of God. He said, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. Like I said, light means what you review, what you expose. And what, if you have to review something, it means that <laughs> there is something to review. Let me put it like that. If you, have, if, if, you, if you have to review something, there is something to be reviewed. Hallelujah. Amen. So, uh, like I said in Colossians, so let's go to Colossians 1, uh, 16. So, now what in now, so what we are now to say, in him was life. So, in that life are four things in two versions. <laughs> four things in two versions. Praise the Lord. Four things in two versions. So now let me use the black ink now to explain the thing. So two versions. So let's 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 divide this. This is the best way so that let's make this foundation so that we can start what how Christ is the wisdom of God. Because I'm just trying to refer to how Christ is the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we have two things. Um, he said, for in him, in where? In the life. Amen. In the life. Amen. In him, all things were created. Things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. So, let's say the upper part is the visi visible part of the life. And this one binet is the invisible part. Or we can even say the upper one is the invisible one, the one on that is visible. We now depend on how you like to put it. He said, number one, thrones. So let's put thrones. It's too, it's too small. Uh, thrones. Hallelujah. Amen. Thrones. Hmm? So it's thrones, not one. So <laughs> let's say throne. So let's put we can put many zero just to represent thrones. So we don't know how many there are, it's only God that knows how many they are. So thrones, the number two is what? Dominions. So let's put the second one. Dominions. Hmm? So there are many. There are many. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Then the third one is principalities. Amen. Principalities. There are many. And the last one is what? Powers. Powers. Just let me manage. Normally, these four uh, things of God are supposed to cover all, all these spaces. <laughs> but just let's just manage it like that. So now, this is the invisible part of it. Now, the visible part also have the same thing. The visible part also have the same dominions, thrones, principalities. Powers. Oh, 
So that is what that is why we can call that Christ kingdom of God. Kingdom of God. Kingdom of God. So he's the son of God, the word of God, and Christ. Amen. Which means where <laughs> and you can see the Bible says we are seated with him. Also Ephesians 1 3 says we are blessed with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ. In inside Christ. So our place is inside. Now, all of us, where we live now is, is inside Christ. Amen. Inside the life of God. Amen. So, we are not... We are inside. That is where our place are. And for us to be inside, it means that we have the same thing. That Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. We still have the same thing that the Son. That's why we can call ourselves sons in song. Or we can call ourselves kings in the king. Amen. Or lords in the Lord. Praise the Lord. So this is a song. So the all the whole drawing is a song. Amen. The whole so when the Bible says in Isaiah 9 that. Unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. So this is the all the this is all. In Hebrews 10, 5, it says, Christ, I've come to do the will of my father. To the body that was prepared to me. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. <laughs> I have come. It was the power. So the, sorry. I don't want to use the word power because power is also part of what is inside Christ. So it was the kingdom. Praise the Lord. And you can see when Jesus started his ministry, he said, Repent for the kingdom of God has come. For the kingdom of God has come. I'm happy that we're able to do this drawing. <laughs> Hallelujah. So the whole and it's not just thrones, it said in heavens and on hearts. Amen. So we have this version in the heavens. We also have this version on hearts. And it says all. Now, when I finished the teaching on Monday, I gave us something to be confused, but we're going to treat it when we are to. We are still going back, we are still coming back to Christ, the power of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are still coming back. But we want to do the wisdom today. Let's use this to do the wisdom. So, like I said, I gave us something. It's good to hand to teach some time with confusion so that you can know there is still more to hear. And so that you can know that sometimes you have to go to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, I'm confused here. Yeah. I got all the teaching, but this part, part. The last part, I'm confused. So that I can explain to us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, through Colossians and John, he said, All! All! I was checking for another KJV version that will explain, that will confirm in, in him of NIV and is there if you check verse verse 17 he said and is before all things and by him all things consist so so in this city underline the word in in which is inside and all in and all when he said all things consist this means that everything is inside Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Say by him. All things. Now by him is by the Son. It's not by Christ. It's by the Son. Because Christ is inside the Son. Now imagine if Christ is now the image of the invisible God. So where is God himself? Where is the Father? <laughs> so the Father is, is the whole 
I don't want to draw the whole board because he said the Bible says, Who was and is and is to come? So Christ is eternal. If I draw, it means that I'm restricting him. It's, it's everywhere. Amen. It's omnipotent. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's everywhere. It doesn't have a beginning, it doesn't have a end. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, uh, uh, Ephesians 6, when he was talking about the scheme of the devil, Amen. the same thrones and um, dominion, principality, and power, the same word were mentioned. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So you can see the confusion. Mm. And if you check this verse 17 of Colossians 1, it said, And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. Mm. Okay, let me. Okay, it's same 16. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principality or power, all things were created for him and all, all things were created by him and for him. Amen. For him, for the son. All things. Amen. So, all things, how? If you check that Ephesians 6, it never put all. It just put dominions. They have heads too. There are many dominions, thrones, principalities, and uh, it said principalities in the heavenly places. Praise the Lord. And powers. Hallelujah. So, but he used the word all. So, all has made them to be together. So, it means that uh, the knowledge of the the tree of the knowledge of good and evil is also in the sun. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But the reason is that if everything, when God created the heavens and the earth, everything was, like I said, was just light. No plus. Then let me tell you, God will never have. God will know who are sons. Because you don't need to grow. You are not fighting against something. Your life is not. So everything is right. Everything is God. Everything is. Hallelujah. Like I said, there is a positive darkness. Because normal darkness doesn't mean evil. Darkness doesn't mean evil. Don't you think that everything starts from zero? And every color starts from black. You mix all the colors in this world together, they will, it will give you black. And let me tell you, everything started moving from a port, a part, or a point, a spot. Mm. It is not a spot. Mm. Then forget it. Mm. I did a teaching about some weeks ago. I said, man means neutral. Hallelujah. Amen. Man means neutral. So there must be a starting point. So, and when this day, when the certain point begins, you will see positive and you will see negative. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, let's leave that for now and go to Christ, the wisdom of God. For now, because we are still coming back. We are still going to treat thrones, dominion, principality, and powers each by one after the other. So we start going to say, what does it mean Christ is a throne, or Christ is dominion, Christ is principality, or Christ is praise the Lord. 
called the parts of Christ because the whole, all of them together is what is called Christ. You see, everything hold together. You can see everything. This is one, this is one, this is one, this is one. Everything hold together. This is one in the invisible parts or invisible parts. Everything holds together as in the, even this is visible part and invisible part, positively. So we have visible part and invisible part negatively, praise the Lord. And the negative part is what Ephesians 6 was talking about, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So everything holds together for what? Why? <laughs> Hallelujah. So let's leave that for now so that by the time we come back, we know we have a starting point. Hallelujah. So now let's talk about Christ, the wisdom of God. Um, 1 Corinthians 1 24. Let's go back to it because that's the teaching for today. Christ, the wisdom of God. Christ the wisdom of God. Christ the wisdom of God. Christ the wisdom of God. What does it mean to see the wisdom of God? Okay. Um, Proverb 835 says Proverb 8 835 says for 35 for those who find me find life and receive favor from the Lord You can see the whole Proverb 8 is referring to the wisdom of God. Amen. Let me tell you, uh, the purpose of the wisdom of God, the primary purpose of God's wisdom is ability to create. Amen. Ability to create. That's the first purpose the primary purpose of wisdom is ability to create. Now, this is the power of God. And in the power, sorry, this is, <laughs> forgive me for that. Christ is the power of God. Christ is the power of God. Yes, I, I still, I'm still on, I'm still in line. So this is what it means as power. You can see what is inside. If you take um, in NIV, Productions, Step Productions 1, 
Colossians 1. The word power that KJV uses, NIV uses as authority. Authorities. Authorities. So KJ, NIV uses power of KJV as authorities. So, because that's the best way to define it. Or else it will just mix power inside and power as the whole thing. So let's use NIV. So I started my Christian life with NIV Bible. So I'm used to NIV Bible. Praise the Lord. But just to get the original, the first Bible, I have KJV. Praise the Lord. But uh, where NIV use as principalities, so we can be used as principalities. NIV uses it as rulers. Rulers. Praise the Lord. Rulers. And we can be used as dominion. NIV is used as power. <laughs> so you have to. If you, so if you have power in NIV, and we also have power, the last one, the last one here in KJV uses as power. But the second one in NIV uses as power. So this is when you need Holy Spirit to give you the... But the whole Christ is the power of God. What is called Christ is the power of God and the wisdom. Not just one. It's just it's power and wisdom together. Now because you have in being so Christ or the life of God means power and wisdom. Power and wisdom together. So when you have this, then you can create. And he said it's of God. I put something recently. I said, imagine you want to uh, give birth. You call your will. The whole son is the will of God. You call your will son. <laughs> and you call your spirit Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. And you are still there alive. How come? <laughs> you remove your will. What makes you? It's because what makes a man a man is the will. A woman a woman is a will. That can, okay, you have this inbuilt uh, ability to make a decision and to stand that will that power, that thing inside of you that makes you to do things is that will. And now, as God, you remove your will and turn it to a son. Amen. And remove your spirit and turn it to Holy Spirit. <laughs> and we are still there in the highest heaven. You are still alive. <laughs> so, the Son and the Spirit, <laughs> they are also gods. They, they are the carrier of God. They came as God to us. Now, so this whole song, I was working on this thing, and some weeks ago, my head almost blown up. <laughs> because sometimes, see, Meditation will help you to join in the spiritual, but you get to some place. You know that no, this is this is just too much. Because if you don't understand all these things, you keep praying. 
And God will tell you, I've given you everything. Even the Bible says, if you lack wisdom. <laughs> Is anyone here, if anyone among you that lack wisdom, let him go and ask. One that give without finding fault. Hallelujah. So wisdom, the primary purpose of wisdom is to create. Now if the old song, the heavens are the hearts. Because if you just say this one one, it said in the beginning, so inside the song, inside this song is where heaven and heart is situ are situated. This whole heaven. So if this whole heaven, this is, we don't even know where heaven is. We all, let's let's just say that, that we know heaven is in Christ. So, but let's say we are in, we are on heart, right? <laughs> so this whole heart, as big as this heart is, that has me thousands of numbers of countries, even in your in your states where where you are, you can't even finish moving from one place to another in that particular domain. So this heaven and earth that is big. Not talk of heaven. This heart, as big as this heart, is in the sun. Ah. So we don't even know how big the heavens are. And we don't know how we don't know how big they are. If you check Romans 8, it talks about the height. It said, let's go here, of the heart. Proverb 8. Proverb 8 is very, very deep. I like that verse. Proverb 8 is very deep. Proverb 8 said, If you check, check, start checking from the description of like, um, Okay, let me start reading from verse 28. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way. <laughs> the Lord possessed me in the beginning of the way of his way. So that is it was the war, it was the wisdom. Yes. The wisdom, the wise, the wisdom, the wisdom is of being. Praise the Lord. Or let me say, can I say it's a being? Because is is the one speaking here? It's part of Christ. The one side of part Christ. The second side of Christ is power. But we can't say they are maybe one beside each other. They are within. They are interwoven. You can't really say this is wisdom or this is power. All of both of them are within. Within. If you have a cup of water, you have a water. Can you say this is the uh, uh, the left side of the water or the right side. The water is water. <laughs> you can't divide water to, to praise the Lord. He said, The Lord brought me forth as the force of his works. Or the Lord possessed me, possessed me in the beginning of his way. Before his works of wood. I was set from everlasting from the beginning. Or even, or however the heart was. When there were no depth, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abandoned with waters. Before the mountains were set, before the hills were, before the hills was high brought forth. Why, as yet he had not made the heart or the field, nor the highest part of dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the dead, when he established the cloud above, when he stretched the fountains of his deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundation of the heart, there I was by him as one brought up with him say brought up with him hmm. that place is deep that was small word like that and i was daily his delight rejoicing always before him rejoicing in the habitation part of the heart and my delight were 
with the sons of men. Hmm. Hallelujah. I want to you read it. I'm looking for someone. Let me read it for you. Then I mean. Before the mountains were settled in place, before the hills I was clearing parts, before he made the world or his field or any of the doors of the earth, I was there when he set the heavens in place, when he marked out the horizon of the face of the deep. See, there is something called the face of the deep. Underline that part. You will see it in Genesis chapter 1, verse 2. There is something called the face of the deep. In Genesis 1, verse 2, it says, uh, I said, Now the heart was formless and empty, that is over the surface of the deep. <laughs> Surface of the deep. You no, know, it, it takes from the it said from the mount of two or three, the truth shall be established. Surface of the deep. Now, let's go back. The primary purpose of wisdom is to create. The primary purpose of wisdom is to create. And when it has finished creating, it will now be analyzing. Or speaking. So, the power, see, all these four things, visible or invisible, it's what makes, those are the inbuilt ability you have to create something. Praise the Lord. To create I won't be able to go much far today. Let's make it short, but with full inspiration. Now, Christ has come and is now within us. Christ never returned to him. Christ is here. All of us, we have Christ. <laughs> and if you have Christ, you have the, the world. You have the word, you have the sun. And let me tell you, <laughs> the realm of God, this spiritual realm of God is here. But physical realm of God is where we are. So one way or the other is a little bit also confusing. And it's good. It's, this is a positive confusion. Jesus said, I am in my father, and my father is in me. Eh? How? And it's true. So it means that there are two kinds of words. I don't, don't let me, I don't like to use the word word because word came, word started from the fallen man. I don't like to use the word, the term word, W-O-R-L-D. I don't mean W-O-R-D. I mean W-O-R-L-D. Just a so, there are two different kinds of realms. The physical one, that physical one says it's still spiritual in nature, one way or the other. And also the spiritual one. Okay, let me say, there are two kinds of realms, the invisible realm and the visible realm, like Colossians 1.16 said. The invisible realm is here. The visible realm is here, where we are inside. But the invisible realm is here. Now let me let, let's go a little bit deep. Not deep. What I mean by deep is not like you cannot understand it. What I mean by deep is that let's go is inside the world. More there are letters. Hallelujah. Now, if invisible realm of God is here, and the whole Christ, or the whole Son of God, that have the beginning, I mean, that have uh, 
heavens and hearts, visible and invisible, within. And this who is here? Ah. Christ, the hope of all glory is here. Praise the Lord. So if Christ, the life of God is here, hmm? then the world, this is the world that makes uh, this life to be outspoken. This world, this second one. Sorry that I use a black pen. Doesn't make, doesn't have any reason. We're just using it for things that will make you to be bold so that you can see it. Hallelujah. Now, this song, this song is a spirit to replace you. Now, it means that you, like I said sometimes, man is a portal. You, it's like you enter into yourself to go to another realm. <laughs> it's deep. But it's wonderful. If you know who you are, if you know how powerful you are inside, you know that you are a portal, you are a gate to enter into the invisible realm of God. Because Christ means custodian of power. Christ means the custodian of kingdom or power or wisdom of God. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. So now, if when you were in, when, when you were in the old creature, praise the Lord, you are also the same. You never change. The only thing is that you are in the wrong path. But now, coming, everybody, everything has become everything. Everything has become new. Now, the sun is to replace you. The world is to replace you. See, there is a world in three ways. In the world, you can speak a word, you can imagine a word, and you can draw it. So, world is more than what you can. More, world is more than hot rounds, speaking. So. What is inside of you is, is a realm or sin realm. You, your physical eyes cannot see. See, all sin is deeper than spiritual. It's deeper than spiritual. It means that in the spiritual realm, in the spiritual realm, angels can see themselves, but they cannot see God. They cannot see the sun. So if Isaiah says as say unto us the son is given, this son is not Jesus. Jesus is for Christ to be seen, so that we can interact with him, we can talk to him. He said, I say, and the world be he said, and the world. The second one. So we cannot become without see, the three of them cannot. Go <laughs> in their separate ways. No, the world can be here, and the sun can be here, and the world will be in five hundred miles from here, <laughs> and Christ will be in you. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that they are in separate places. No. They have the same goal. God, the Father. They have the same function. They manifest the same way, the same person. They manifest God in different ways. So if Christ is in you and the world is here, 
Hmm? Most of us, what we understand about the word is what we speak. Joshua, why he says, meditates in the world. So it's not what, see, it is what you have meditated that you speak. So it means that your word, the word is here. The word carries the power and the wisdom. And now for you to be sons, it means that, so there are three parts like the sun is you. In the heavy man, it's three parts. The Son, the Word, and, and Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go back to that Proverb 8. They will pick some one or two scriptures. He said, The Lord possessed me. So let's, let's check what is inside wisdom. <laughs> so I believe those things are all these powers through sign. Proverbs 8 from verse 1. So if you see riches in Christ, and you can see it's not one, many, you don't know the, the number. He said, Does not wisdom call out? Does not understanding raise a voice? At the highest point along the way, where the path met, she takes a stand. Beside the gate leading into the city. At the entrance, she cries out. You can see, it's always hats beside at the port. Please go. So let's. Just pick, we're going to pick some words. Underline some of those words. I will, I will be telling you those words. From verse 6. Say, listen, for I have trustworthy. I have trustworthy things to say. I open my mouth, my lips to speak what is right. So righteousness is within the wisdom of God. I mean the righteousness of God. So you can see that the righteousness of God is Christ. So, the righteousness of God is Christ. He said, I open my mouth, my lips to speak what is right. What is right? The right things of God. The righteousness of God. My mouth speak what is true. My mouth speak what is true. All the words of my mouth are just. None of them is crooked or perverse. To the design, all of them are right. They are helpful to those who have found knowledge. So knowledge, righteousness, um, instruction, verse 10. Choose my instruction. Knowledge rather than choice, gold. For wisdom is more precious than rubies, and nothing you can desire, you desire can compare with it. Okay, let's start from verse 12. That's what I'm looking for. He said, I, wisdom, dwell together with prudence. I possess what? Knowledge and discretion. So, on the line, knowledge and discretion. So those are the things that are in the wisdom of God. 
He said, high wisdom, I dwell together with what? Prudence. What is prudence? Prudence. Let's check prudence. Be careful in the way you make decision. You can see? In the way they make decision. Be careful. So because here is righteousness of men. There is righteousness. So being careful as in do it according to the spirit of God. Don't just wake up and make your own decision. In the way you judge things, in the way you see things. It has to be through the wisdom of God. So, is it like, I, wisdom, possess knowledge and discretion. So, it means, that the, it means that knowledge is the power of wisdom. So, let me call it, I used to call it the potential of wisdom is knowledge. Knowledge is the potential of wisdom. Potential means power of God's intention. Just like you speak it, potential power of God's intention that is the essence of man that is, that is essential in man that's my own definition took me 8 months to, to get that with the inspiration of the Almighty 8 months just to work potential hallelujah power of God's intention so if God wants to do something you have to submit your heart to his decision praise the Lord he said, to fear the Lord is to hate evil. So the fear of the, say, the Bible says, uh, in Proverbs, it's in Proverbs, it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Verse 14 says, cancel and sound judgment are mine. Those are the riches in wisdom. Cancel. If you check Isaiah 11, when it talks about the seven spirits of God, the first one, or the second one, is the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding. Cancel and mind. <laughs> so, the hidden secret of wisdom. This is the second one, the spirit of God. He said, and the spirit of the Lord is upon him. So, there is something called the spirit of the Lord. The spirit of the Lord is upon him. The spirit of wisdom. So, he now explain the spirit of the Lord. Start from the spirit of wisdom. So, and the Bible says, wisdom is the principal thing. To me, I believe, uh, if wisdom is the principal thing, why do they have to put the spirit of the wisdom as the first one? <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, principal doesn't mean really meaningful. Principal is the starting point. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I'm still working on it. Let's just go ahead. He said, Cancer and just sound judgment are mine. He said, I have insights. I have insights. And I have power. Those are the attributes of wisdom. I have insights. I have power. By me, king reigns. You can see. <laughs> Reign. So, Christ is the power. And Christ is also wisdom. So, Christ means the kingdom of God. So, within the kingdom, <laughs> have the ability to reign. To reign. So there are some kingdoms that there are there are some kings that are not ready because they are not doing anything. They are just there sitting as king, as kings, but they are not doing anything. they are not impacting lives. They are not doing things that will marvel human. They are just sitting and they are just people are just uh, visiting them. 
pay them homage, visiting them, the begging gifts and all those kind of things. Hmm? Because they are solving problems in the wrong ways. They are consulting power of darkness to solve problems. So they are not known. <laughs> yes, they are kings, yes. But nobody knows them. Nobody hears about their names. How can you use kingdom of darkness? The power of the kingdom of darkness to solve problems. So if you say, Satan will give you one thing and he will use to collect seven things from you. He said, if you give him one chance, he will go 10 miles. So which problem? So you are adding to your problem. It's not even, you are not even solving problems. But if you are a king that has the wisdom of God, you have cancel, the spirit of cancel, you have, your highest of understanding will be enlightened. You have the expression of the Almighty. You have insight. Psalm 9, from verse 99 to 102, he said, by insight, he said to insight, I am more than my teachers. <laughs> and by me, rulers, issue decrees that are just, that are righteous. By me, prince, go home. So it means that most times, prince and governors, kings, <laughs> rules. But within a country, we have a state or what do we call it here? Council. Okay, it's council, right? We call state. There's no state here, okay. Like we have mayor of London, we have mayor of Manchester, we have all those mayors. Those mayors signs sound like governors of a state. Praise the Lord. I know who's all who rules on heart. I love those who love me. And those who seek me will find me. Remember uh, Jeremiah 29, verse 13 said, If you seek me, you find me. When you seek me with all your heart. So it's the wisdom of God that was talking. So the wisdom of God speaks. But his, create, his power is to create. He has a creative ability. Let me read it. Let's finish it then. You see more. He said, And those who seek me find me, with me are riches and honor. Hmm. Enduring wealth. What does, what does it mean to be the world enduring? As in the world that endures forever. So when Jesus says, um, um, what about that verse that says endures forever? Something endures forever. Endures, enduring wealth. So wealth is more than accumulation of money. He said, choose my instruction instead of silver. Knowledge rather than choice gold. That's verse 10. He said, for wisdom is more precious than rubies. And nothing you desire can compare with it. So, wealth is different from physical gold, rubies, or silver. You can see when, uh, is it Peter and John that saw those men at the beating gate? He said, silver and gold I don't have, but I have enduring wealth. That if I lay my hands on you and you get healed, your heal, your your miracle will be permanent. So you don't need to come again that maybe in next year that my John and Peter that evening you did for me last year. Can you lay your hands on me again for this year? No. It's 
When it happens, it happens like that. We don't need to come back. All the idiots that Jesus did, <laughs> it, they were permanent, they were permanently healed. My foot is better than fine gold. What I yield surpasses choice silver. I walk in the way of righteousness. Ha! Along the path of justice. Bestowing a rich inheritance on those who love me. And making their treasure in full. Hmm. Are you getting it? So you have so many things of God to create, to bring things into reality. Hallelujah. To bring things into reality. So man is a portal who have the store house. Where the wisdom of God is being kept. But what are we doing with it? Sometimes God will show you revelation. He wants you to, because you have one same realm inside of you, He wants you to journey in that realm. To change things. So, see, that's why Genesis 1 is so deeper than Genesis 2. Genesis 1 is unseen. Genesis 2 is seen. But most times, all, all of us, most of, most of us, don't let me say all of us, most of us, we depend on prayers. We pray, pray, pray to God. When God has given you Christ, you have Christ here, you have ability to create through your imaginations. You can sit down here or stand up like here and imagine things. The way you want that thing is to appear physically, you create it with your inner heart, with your inner eyes. I used to pray the prayer called prayer of imagination. You think you are imagining things, but that, let me tell you, when you are imagining things in the spiritual realm, you are already in that thing. You will be seeing yourself changing things. That is what it means to create. You have the ability to create. The most serious thing I will say when you are creating things, begin to write it down. But there are some things that you cannot even write down. You, you, you imagine images, you bring them together. Let me tell you, I'm not, I have anointing upon my head. But the first anointing I had was the one from the Father, not the one that put like oil on my head. Hallelujah. What I'm trying to say is that you have anointing, yes, anointing broke, uh, anointing break yoke. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But the problem we are having is that we too much of pastoral work and we believe we cannot do some things until you go to a pastor. And it is not. If you have the wisdom of God that created the heavens and the heart here, inside of you, has the strength, you don't need to wait until one man of God lays his hands upon you and say, Be healed. Praise the Lord. You have the ability. There was a time, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me show you this thing, very simple. If you have anybody, if you are watching me and you have anybody that is sick beside you or in the hospital, you have to, what? Do just be the hearer of the world and all practicing it. The first thing you will do is that Let's say you have a dead body beside you. The first thing you will do is that do the 
power of imagination and meditation. Meditation is meditation. Ah, how would I explain meditation? Meditation is a sign that what we're teaching is just ignore. Meditation is let's go to Joshua one eight and Psalm one. Joshua one eight. To show when it. This book of the law shall not depart. To show is after the Trilomy. If you are searching for Joshua, watch me. Joshua is after the book of Deuteronomy. So, chapter 1, verse 8, popular verse, Bible. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Let's start from there. This book of the law, number one, let me see. The book, the, when you say the book of life, Anyone whose name is not found in the book of life shall be thrown into what? See, that book of life is not a book. Can, you, can I get a book? Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry. I have a Bible here. Let me use my Bible as a book. So, this is... So... When the Bible says the book, the book of life, it's not like a book like this in front of God. So that where they wrote all the names of eight billion people on hearts in it. <laughs> Let's open the scripture. Hmm? See, a Bible is, if you don't, these letters, if it's not open, you just read it. And you just read it. So you can still meditate in it, but you'll be able to meditate, you'll be able to enter. Into that book. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy heart. So the book, even with these letters, with this verse, it was that book of the law that Joshua was talking here, is here inside, is the Christ in you. Because if it is not here, how are you going to speak it? Amen. I know, we know that this, there are laws, book of laws, that were given to the children of Israel that they have to read and read and read. Laws, how to bond this, how to do that. No. But this word is more spiritual. This verse is very, very deep. He said, this book of God shall not depart out of thy heart, mouth, but thou shalt meditate day in day and high, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written day in. Don't forget that this is a scroll that is written about you. And that scroll are hidden things about how you are going to live your life on heart. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, things that were written day in, Things were, are, were written or are written in those books. So the Christ in you, there are things. See, this is Christ in you. And you can see there are things in this Christ. There are things. So don't stop speaking about your thrones. 
Don't stop thinking, talking about the ability to dominate, the ability to do things, the ability to obey unseen things. That's what that verse is saying. So it's not just a book like this. It's Christ in you. And let me tell you, Romans 8 says, the law of the spirit of life, give life. The law of the spirit of life. It says, so the Bible speaks about saying, the book of the law shall not. So the book of Christ, the book of the law is the book of Christ. The book of Christ are the things that were written in Christ that is in you. Things, the riches, the spiritual blessings, things that will make you to have dominion. But let me tell you, how you will you have dominion if you don't create? So if you have a sick bed, sick person beside you, you have to join in through meditation. He said, meditate day and meditate in it day and night. So it means that meditation is a gate to travel into the things, into Christ. So you use meditation to travel inside the Christ that is in you. So that you can tap spiritual blessings that is that are all seen in Christ. Praise the Lord. You have to tap these things. You have to tap these things. Visible and invisible. Everything that will make you to dominate, operate, function, are in Christ that is in you. Without those things, your ways, Let's go that verse. For thou, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good sources. Those kings are those God. They don't have anything to meditate on. Their names are not known. They don't do anything. They are even having problems to problems. They are tying a whole city and a whole nation. The whole state or city or nation are under the captivity of darkness, of the kingdom of darkness. Because of one head, the whole city or the whole nation or the whole town is, being, they are, is under the captivity of the kingdom of darkness because of one head of the king. So if you have a sick bed, beside, a sick man beside you, journey in your spirit realm. Journey through meditation. Go see you have you have two or three in one. You are a spirit being. You are unseen. You are spiritual and you are physical. This is your physical part. You are unseen and you are so you can through your spiritual man you can enter into Christ and get into the unseen realm or invisible realm or the realm of the spirit and change things. Yes, you can say in the name of Jesus, say by name, one name has been given us to, to the name of Jesus. To, are you getting you can lay on? But let me tell you, it's more than that. What God has given us more than just anointing to 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 heal a sick. Most times, you can see it was most times because we don't understood ourselves. So he gave us this power. Let's start from here. But there are so much within you. This so much you have be to be creative is to be creative with your imagination. See the unseen realm, see the things of God. Journey into Christ in you and change things. When you change things, you are being creative. When you change things, then you are a creator. Don't wait until somebody will tell you no. Don't wait until you see those um, prayer points before you pray. Don't wait until somebody will tell you this is how you do it. If you have the Spirit of God in you, you join in. Let me give you this. So the mental, this mental is a mental because 
without the spirit of God and the knowledge, it's just mental. It's just like you are you want to do an exam and you are thinking. What are you thinking? You are thinking of what you saw here, what you've memorized, what you've read, that you think is here. You are thinking, thinking is to bring things out. So that is, you can have answers. So when you are thinking, you are thinking in the knowledge that you saw in your head. But meditation is 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 now is not is not now is not now a mental thinking. Meditation is like thinking in the Holy Spirit. So when you are thinking in the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit has what Christ. Without Christ, Holy Spirit cannot come and live in you. It's because you have Christ, that's why Holy Spirit is in you to remind you. It's to remind you everything that Jesus has taught. And to bring into remembrance. And to show you what is yet to come. <laughs> so it means that things that Jesus, that is, is deeper than the whole trance that Jesus spoke, are things that will come. Hallelujah. They are the things. So there are so much within you. So if you have a revelation and somebody say, maybe somebody attack you, just, you don't need to even close your eyes. Just open your eyes and begin to journey. Meditate. Meditation is like a gate to enter into Christ. Enter into Christ and begin to change things. If you have the knowledge, if you have the, if you know the scripture and the word of God, you say, Jesus, the Bible says, but let me tell you, even if you don't say the Bible says, you can use that scripture to join the to enter into Christ and begin to change things. That's why Genesis 1 is deep. Genesis 1 is unseen. Genesis 2 is seen. So God has to give us the unseen parts and give us the seen parts. So if you want somebody that is there beside you to arise, go and go in the unseen realm and make that make sure the person is already rising. If you have a part in you that is full of uh, pains, or you have somebody that is not healed, or one eye of the person is blind, or is not seen, go and look for, I mean, you go in Christ, all the spiritual blessings in Christ. Go and look, go and pick one eye in Christ. Remove that one, and fix this one to it. <coughs> if you don't know how to do it, then do it the way Jesus did it. Go and pick, just imagine an eye. Somewhere, maybe they maybe in Christ there are so many highs, new new highs. Go there and pick one like this. Like, see, as I'm looking, like, looking at me, just go there, pick one high, and go to that person, remove that whole one, and put this new one in it. And come to the physical place and say, In the name of Jesus, see. That is the simple way to start from. If somebody is saying, um, um, I've been shivering since, I've been shaking since five days, I cannot eat it. Go lie the person down, see all those sicknesses and problems as trees to uproot. Say, where? It's in the left hand. Go to the left hand, just imagine, you just imagine somebody is on the floor. Just imagine the image of that person physically that you are looking is on the floor. Or sitting. So with your invisible man, go into that person and change things. And just do some prayers. So that the physical, so that you can set the world. You know, you have the world, you journey in the world to change some things. If you want a new job, <coughs> and you know the company, go in the in the unseen realm. You can be standing here, but at the same time be joining. You can sit down, you can even cross your leg. But see yourself standing and go to the company and tell the manager that this job is mine. In the unseen realm. Great things is imagination. Imagination is you imagine images. That man is an image. The paper in front of the man is an image. The pen in front of the in the hands of the person is an image. So mute images together and form what you want. That is that was how God formed man from the dust of the of the field. 
The man, the male and female man, had already been created in the image of God. Now, when he wanted to form that man, he just used the dust. And he, you know, built, formed that man out in the physical way. And he breathed, and man became a living soul. So, because that is that if you don't understand these simple, simple ways of being creative, praise the Lord. But if you want to go to the deeper, deeper ones, you won't understand it. This is a big, this is a simple way to start from. So the pen in the hands of the man is, a, is an image. The paper, the white sheet is an image. The man himself is an image. The table just fit all two things or three things together. Go there and say, this job is mine. That's why faith is a realm. It's a realm to make things to be exactly how you want it. Faith is a realm. Christ is a realm of God. Christ is a realm of the kingdom. If you are in the kingdom of God, don't just sit down there and be doing what? You have to exercise your power. You have to function in the unseen realm. So, if man is a potter, it means that what he said of his big than this whole heavens and heart. Because it is in him that this heaven and heart is heart. Ah, praise the Lord. So, don't just see yourself as one simple, one small, tiny person. No. You are bigger on the inside. Praise the Lord. It's like you are watching the whole universe through our uh, um, um, internet explorer. If you check internet explorer on your phone, it's a very small, tiny thing like that. But when you click it, you are in another world. You can see everything going around the whole world in that simple thing. If you, if you click on YouTube, just one application. When you click on it, you can see you can see the news of what is happening around the world. That is how you, as a very time, you are just like a, an application. <coughs> so, and you are not just one, you are three. You are unseen, you are spiritual, you are physical. So you can use your unseen to join in Christ. You can use your spiritual man to join in. And make things done. So you have the power to create. And you have the wisdom to create. Please Lord. You have the power as life. And you have the wisdom to bring things out. This is God has better with all spiritual blessings in Christ. And you have Christ in you. It means that you have all spiritual blessing in Christ that is in you. Now, if you have all spiritual blessing in Christ that is in you, and you are not working, you are not being created, you are not creating anything in your unseen world. You are not creating, you are not joining inside of you to make things happen. Let me tell you, you pray and you pray to kingdom come. Praise the Lord. It's good to pray. Let me tell you, when you are speaking in tongues and you are praying for five hours, your spirit that is at work, as the Holy Spirit in you is one that is at work, is in you are speaking in is you are speaking in tongues, and this Holy Spirit is you is journeying to do the will of God. Uh -uh. <laughs> and this Holy Spirit is journeying to the Christ that is in you. So what why is it that you cannot do things? You cannot bring things out. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you, when I'm praying in tongues, especially when I'm or med let me tell you, I meditate more than praying in tongues. Let me just give you this secret. I meditate. I can meditate for 24 hours. I can meditate for 6 months and pray in tongues. Maybe for... Why are you disturbing us? I can, I can pray in tongues for one day in two months. So all of you that are just making mouth that I'm not saying you are making mouth. Sorry for that. All of you that say we don't pray, we don't pray in tongues. Let me tell you, you can pray in the spirit, but you still have to join in the spirit. You have to join in the spirit. So I join in the spirit and pray in tongues. What am I praying in tongues? I'm speaking codes. 
that I don't understand. Now, if you pray in tongues once, let me tell you, if you pray in tongues once for four or five hours, it's like you have, God has, God has blessed you with, uh, okay, if you have a stone, big stone, and you have one hammer, you begin to hammer that stone, until the stone become a sound. That is how it is to speak in tongues. If I speak in tongues for one day, God has blessed me with this to journey him. So why do I have to be speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues? When I have life, when I'm speaking in the spirit, I'm praying in the spirit. And the Bible says the spirit gives life. So you are praying in the spirit and I have so much life within me. And I'm not touching those lives. <laughs> so you use meditation to join in that life. Even you can join in the lives. Pastor was saying, I don't want to mention her. She was saying that, was it which day that she, she was praying and the spirit of, and she was like a TB and the spirit of God said, yeah, begin to pray for this one. She's going to abort a child. Go on. That is that is the journey, journey in meditation. Holy Spirit said to her, He said, You know what they call? Can I say it in the microphone? Yoga. Yoga. Can I say it to my microphone? If you know what, you know this thing that people are doing, the Indians are doing, they call it yoga. They will sit like this and they say they are meditating. I walk in a place, I have, I saw a Nigerian friend there. I was so happy to see the Nigerian friend. Ah! Nigerian, I was so happy. So I walk in a place, I was about to talk to him. My man said, uh, Israel, just give me some time. I just want to pray before going to work. I said, okay, I thought he wanted to do simple prayer. And he just opened that thing. Ah, what is this? And he did like this. And before I know it, he started praying. He started joining. And most of us Christians, we are not joining. We are just praying in tongues. It's good to pray in tongues. You don't know what. See, if you pray in tongues, God is doing something through you, through your vessel, through the Christ, through the portal. He's entering through a portal in you and going through the Christ in you to so that unseen world, big unseen world. Praise the Lord. But you too, you have your spirit, just as the spirit of God. The spirit of God is in you. It's one plus one is one. If you allow him, see, let me see. Holy Spirit, thank you. Holy Spirit is using your spirit to jump. But you, you, you have to use the spirit of God to join. It's not, but it's not one side, it's two sides. Even the spirit is using your spirit to join in, to do things. You, to, you have to use Holy Spirit. And let me tell you, if you use Holy Spirit, you will not do anything outside God. Because those people that are sitting there, they are using a particular spirit. To their spirit, man. They are using spiritual spirit and power and the kingdom of God. I mean, they are using a particular kingdom. Like I said, there are so many kind of dogs, gods. They are using particular gods to journey, praise the Lord, into some places, whatever. But see, we also we have Christ in us. We have the kingdom of God, and we have to use the spirit of God. Who, he will open himself. He will be so happy and turning through the spirit of God. You can, you can be, just be creative. To you, might be like imagination. See, imagination is from God. The Bible says God created man in his own image. So it means that he imagined that man before he created said that man in his own image. So it means that there are so many images that is not the image of God. Those are the things that were filled in on hearts and in heaven. Those are images that are not Christ, but images, different kind of images. And he saw those things, he imagined them, and he created those things. They are animals, seeds, fishes, plants, and herbs, and everything on the world. But they are images from God, but not the image, exactly the image of God. The image of God is Christ. The Christ is the son of the invisible God. So God has his personal image, and he created all of us, man, in his own personal image. But he has other images that are not his personal one. Praise the Lord. All other images he created them. Praise the Lord. He created them. So 
So you have you have to imagine. Imagination is from God. And that is one of the things that makes you God. So be creative by the strength by Christ. Because Christ, I say this thing that close, Christ has is the custodian of things called thrones, dominion, principalities, and authorities. Praise the Lord. Now, if he created, if he has now blessed us with all spiritual blessings in Christ. So riches, cancel, wealth, prosperity, they are all spiritual blessings that are now in inside of these things, both visible and invisible. But you are now there, you think you are just human, physical being. You don't know there are too much. So much thing inside of one person, and if you have eight billion people on heart, let's say out of these eight billion people, four billion or five billion or six billion have received Christ. So each one and every one of us is what has the fullness of God. We have the riches of God. Be creative. Sit down, pray, praise God, and journey through Christ in you through the med through meditation. If you don't know how to go through it. Open the scripture, begin to read something, and you begin to see pictures, you begin to see images. A lot of things are in those things. See, the spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. If flesh counts for nothing, you keep going to pastor to lead his own. You have problem today, go pastor. You have problem tomorrow. Ah, for what now? You want to kill the man, and the man has a lot of people under him. Praise the Lord. Why can't you sit down and solve your problems through the name of Jesus? Praise the Lord. Through the name of Jesus Christ in the strong tower. The strong tower is the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is the strong tower. The righteous run into it. Praise the Lord. So if the name of the Lord is a strong tower, so the name of the Lord is this Christ in you. You, you personally run inside you and make things happen in Christ. Let's close our eyes and say, God, come and help me. Help me with this understanding. Help me open my eyes of understanding and make me see myself. Let me see, help me to see God that is in me. meditation that they encourage people to go into to remove the stress and all that but in case you don't know as a Christian you are to meditate on nothing else but the word of God amen the kingdom of righteousness is of joy peace and love so the spirit of God the word of God will remove that stress from you you don't need to go in and in, into any other kind of meditation if you are doing that let me tell you you are coming out of Christ you are worshiping another God and remember our God is a jealous God amen so you need to know that we are because it is it is everywhere now it has become fashion it is different kind of meditations everywhere so a lot of, lot of Christians don't even know that they are not supposed to do that. That by doing that, they are worshipping other gods. But you need to know that. Like he said in the book of Joshua 1, meditate, chapter 1, meditate day and night on the word of God, which is Christ. Amen? 
You don't need to go anywhere else to remove the stress from you. The word of God, if you, if you, the, the kingdom of God is of joy, righteousness, and peace. As you are into the word, as you meditate in the word of God, as you praise God, the stress will leave you. Amen. I wanted to say that because it is very common, it is everywhere, it is fashion, and everybody is doing it. But the children of God who have received Christ and the Spirit of God are not supposed to do that. Have you even finished reading your Bible? This, the, the, this Bible, when you read it one day and the same day you come, for the following day you come and read that same scripture, the Spirit of God will give you another revelation. Have you even finished reading this book to go and do some meditation and, 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 and that will remove what other stress is he going to remove from your life? Amen. So meditate day and night on the word of God. The meditation of God. As you meditate on the word of God, like the man of God said, it makes you, it takes you somewhere. It makes you to journey in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we're going to do this worship and close. Um, just in case you're watching us and you've never given your life to Christ. Amen. It says that we should confess with our mouth and as we believe in our heart that Jesus died and rose again after three days, amen, we, you are now a child of God and as you grow in the world, you become a son of God. And um, so you just repeat after me, Jesus, I thank you that you died on the cross for me and after three days, you rose again. Holy Spirit, I surrender my life. Jesus, take over in Jesus' name, amen. So let's um, finish with that worship. Let's... Um, Amen. Hallelujah. I knew the Jew. Epame nu. Il est. Epame nu. Il est où? Epame nu. Il est où? He is with us. He is with us.
sacrificing us the hope of glory. As he says in the book of Colossians 1 verse 16, like um, the man of God said during the teaching, we have powers, rulers, authority, dominions within us. That's why we are seated far above all powers and principalities. And your task is to release the dominion that you have within you, around you. Keriba so Thank you, Jesus. So, see somebody around you who is not well. See somebody who has had a broken heart. See somebody who, you know, there, there, there's so much around you. Amen. You are an ambassador. You are you are that workmanship created in Christ Jesus. Go and pray for that person next to you. Go and minister to that woman who has just had a broken heart and she believed that it is the end of the earth, of the world. Go and minister to that man who, who's maybe something has happened to him. He has lost his job and he believed that it is the end. Minister to him and, and let him know that in Christ there is hope, that there is eternal life. You are an agent of power, of change, of reconciliation, and of restoration. Whatever is in you has to flow. Kariba Sokoto. If you don't allow it to flow, it will, it will, it will, it will, sorry to use the word, but the water will will rot within you. That's why the Spirit of God is just releasing. So you, it has to flow. You have to minister to people. You don't necessarily need to be to hold a microphone to speak to people, amen, to preach or whatever. You've got people around you are waiting, that are waiting for you to be ministered to. Amen. Be led by the Spirit of God. And go and minister to those people. There are so many people around that you've got. We've got with so many people around waiting for you to be ministered to. So the Spirit of God is saying that the water that is in you, if it doesn't flow, it has to flow. There has to be a movement. If it doesn't flow, it will rot in you. So you need to, as you minister to people, like I said, you don't necessarily need to come and take a microphone somewhere or whatever. There is somebody near you, your neighbor. There is somebody in your community that needs to be ministered to. The Spirit of God will lead you as you make yourself available to be used by God. Remember, dominion, power, and authority is inside of us to rule here on this earth on behalf of the Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Remain blessed. Thank you so much for joining. May the word that we have received bear fruit in us for the glory of the Father. Remember, you are an agent of change, restoration, power and authority and dominion is within you. Everything has been released in you in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. L'agneau de Dieu est parmi nous.